Hey folks, uh, welcome back. Uh, so I got this uh, brake light on a couple of months ago and along with the brake light I also got uh, uh, the ABS uh, light and also the traction control light on the dashboard. So clearly uh, I know there was some kind of fault uh, in the ABS controller. So I decided to uh, start my troubleshooting process uh, only to end up that uh, uh, found out that there was an issue uh, within the circuit board of the ABS controller itself. Uh, so this time I really didn't perform the soldering myself uh, the, to actually fix the board. There are a couple of reasons for it. One being is uh, uh, it actually required some delicate soldering. The second one is uh, uh, there is no standard way of uh, opening the uh, box from, uh, to actually get access to the board itself. It, it requires some uh, uh, non-standard way of removing it and also need, and one, once when you have done, the seals needs to be applied perfectly. So I actually got this boat uh, shipped out to one of the repair professionals. I need to ship it out and I got it back and the issue was also resolved. Uh, so in this video, uh, mostly I'll be like uh, focusing on the way I troubleshoot it and what made me to uh, conclude it has indeed the circuit board uh, which was the issue before I actually uh, send out the board for repair. So let's get it started. Okay, I've connected the car to the uh, OBD port and this one has the legacy of OBD port. Actually, it is within the engine bay. Uh, this is a 2000 year model so it does have the legacy port uh, within the engine bay you need to have this round connector uh, which is kind of an adapter to the uh, regular obd connector and that is connected to my uh, usb port of my uh, laptop which has the in bar um, so let me just uh, turn on the car to ignition on position and uh, let's try to read okay so let's load uh, the in bar And uh, we need to click on Shift F9 for older models. And let's go into E39 chases. It will be the ABS module. Just click OK. OK. So we need to read the error memory, which is F4. And again, F1 to read the error memory. OK, so there are like... Uh, to error memory and this belongs to the DSC 57 version and uh, if you look into the error frequency there are like two of them uh, both being uh, the error frequency greater than 200 so it could be either one of them or both of them are triggering the brake light uh, but if you pay close attention uh, so I did translate this to English before so it says uh, brake light stop switch uh, related error and uh, uh, the reason being is uh, this is a 2000 model car uh, a pre facelift uh, but uh, it did ha has the uh, it does have the uh, uh, upgraded uh, tail lights so it's really complaining about the incompatibility between the lcm module and the actual brake light itself installed so i never had issues on the functionality itself it's just it, it constantly keeps uh, complaining on the dash <laughs> dashboard but it never actually triggers a brake light uh, uh, light on on the dash so for sure i know this is not really the issue so the second one is pretty much new i never seen this error uh, I, I do actually run this error code once in a while but i never seen this error uh, before so after translation it's uh, it tells a uh, brake pressure sensor uh, discontinuity or kind of like an open circuit so i did check the wires on the brake pressure sensor everything seems to be fine uh, so at this point, I'm only assuming that 90% uh, uh, of the case, it's an issue within the ABS uh, module controller itself. So this is the ABS module on the E39 models and pretty much it's uh, near to the uh, exhaust side of the engine. Uh, that pretty much explains why uh, a lot of the ABS modules on these uh, cars actually fail. Uh, so there are like uh, different components over here. So if you look into it, uh, uh, this is the hydraulic uh, section of the whole ABS module, the silver one. And this one is the ABS uh, pump itself. And this is the brake pressure sensor. And uh, the front part, the black module part, is the actual ABS module or the ABS controller, which actually uh, has the circuit board. Either one of them could fail, uh, but just by uh, looking into the issue and the symptoms, uh, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to like 90% uh, lean towards that the issue is actually on the ABS controller which will need a, a rebuild. So, so there are like three wires coming out from the brake pressure sensor, a white uh, wire, a blue one and a purple one. So the purple one carries the constant 5 voltage, the white one is the ground 
and the blue one uh, is the signal voltage which could vary anywhere between 0.5 and 4.5 volt so I'm going to verify uh, both at idling um, when it's idling uh, when the brake pressure is not applied and then also like applying the brake pressure and see if there is any fluctuation there so let's go ahead and do it so right now it's connected to the multimeter so let's uh, keep checking the uh, uh, voltage in the multimeter. right now I figured out a way to uh Put the multimeter on the windshield and read the values. And right now it's reading around 0.4 uh, without the brake pedal being pressed. So let me just go ahead and press the brake pedal. As you can see, the more I press, the voltage just keeps increasing it. You do it again, pressing the pedal. Yeah, the thing is I'm not able to apply a lot of pressure because the car is not started there is no vacuum in the brake booster so anyway so this clearly concludes that uh, the brake pressure sensor works the signal wire does output uh, voltage when you press the brake pedal so now it's time to uh, look for the same using impa 39 39 39 I need to read the status which is F5 here and it's actually an analog input F2 and this is the brake pressure sensor it's just pointing to 290 uh, meaning like it's clearly an open circuit and let me try pressing the uh, brake pedal yeah I'm just pressing the brake pedal and I'm not seeing any movement there it's like just stuck at a 300 bar, which is clearly not the case. So uh, the brake pressure sensor itself is outputting the voltage, but it's not really, it's not getting into the ABS controller, meaning like the, there is something wrong inside the circuit board, which needs to be fixed. Okay, before you start uh, removing the controller, make sure the car is in uh, switched off. It's better to also remove the negative battery cable, uh, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'll just make sure the car is not switched on or turned on while this is actually disconnected. Um, so let me, first uh, let's remove the connector wire. So there is a clip, just, okay, so there we go. Let's go and remove the, all the one, two, uh, like six screws. Let me also remove the air filter box, just to make things a little easier. Um, so I just got the item shipped back to me. Uh, so the way it works is uh, you send the part out and uh, they ship it. They just fix the part uh, and just uh, ship it uh, to you back. Uh, so I uh, included the details of this uh, rebuild process uh, in my description below. Uh, again, this is not a sponsored content. So I'll be sharing my experience as it is um, after putting in like 100 miles uh, and a Make sure you get a latch noise by putting down the connector. So I think it's time to uh, run the INPA and uh, clear the error memory and uh, take it for a drive. Let me put the uh, air filters. Okay, now let me load the INPA and uh, clear the ABS errors. And from that, I'll take for a 100 mile drive and make sure uh, I'm not getting the brake or the three lights on and I will also rerun the error just to make sure I haven't received the same 81 error again. So let me just go ahead and clear it. Shift F9, C39, Jesus, ABS, okay, okay, F4 error memory, F2, error memory has been cleared. So this is the bar, the second one. So right now it's idle. 
it's stalling a little bit so the circuit board being fixed let's see the values if it changes i'm going to press the brake pedal okay very fixed if you see okay i started the car and it's running for like a couple of minutes i haven't seen the uh, brake abs or the traction light on so that is a good news uh, because I usually get it within like the first uh, uh, two or three minutes. Okay, so I said it took for around like uh, 25 miles of drive and I haven't received the brake, ABS or the traction light on, which is a good thing. Let's uh, check if there are any error codes. So shift F9, 39, Jesus. Okay, what is it for? For error memory. Read error memory. Good, no error memory. So that clearly implies that uh, the issue has been resolved. Anyway, uh, I, uh, I will be uh, continue to review this on a long term, like for a year, just to make sure I'm not getting uh, any uh, errors and I'll keep you guys posted on that. Finally, uh, we are to the conclusion part of this video. So, uh, so there you saw, uh, I was able to uh, resolve this issue. Uh, so, and apparently it turns out that uh, uh, this is a very common issue uh, for almost all the E39 BMWs over there. Uh, the primary reason being is it is uh, the circuit board of ABS controller is located very near to the exhaust uh, side of the engine. And uh, over years in the constant uh, heat cycles, looks like the solder joint could uh, actually give away. Um, so in my case, it was the uh, brake pressure sensors uh, solder joint has uh, given away. But it could be any one of the others, like the wheel speed sensor or any other inputs. So depending on that, you could actually get a different type of uh, errors. Uh, but I think the troubleshooting process itself will be like closely uh, similar. And uh, so that gives you a chance to uh, actually make sure you diagnose and uh, you uh, confirm that, that indeed that the circuit board is issued before even you start or attempt to uh, repair the board. And, uh, uh, anyway, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, as usual let me know uh, what you guys think or if you want to add any uh, further information feel free to uh, put in the comment section below. And uh, once again thanks for watching this guys and have a nice day. Bye.